on today's Locked On Angels. It's my last episode. So let's go out with a bang on a high note and with a little bit of happiness on today's Locked On Angels. You are Locked On Angels, your daily Los Angeles Angels podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Locked On Angels, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I'm your host, Steve Granado. Thanks so much for making us your first listen of the day. You can shoot me a follow over on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all that good stuff, at Steve Granado. I'm there across all platforms. And by the way, before we get started here in this one, just want to let you know that, yes, I'm going to continue doing baseball content coverage over on my various social medias. Make sure to hit up my TikTok as brand new, and that's where I'm going to be doing a lot of my new work. And then some longer form content will be coming to my YouTube channel. So just so you're aware, there is still more content coming for me. It's just not going to be on the Locked on Angels front. Um, okay, so this is what we're going to do today. So there's there's obviously a bunch of like negative things in the news, and we have covered them, and the Tyler Skagg situation, and the trial, and all that stuff has been going on, but you know, in the lockout and everything and how, how bad the last meeting was. But I, I just don't want to go out like that. Um, there are plenty of great outlets you can get that information from, and I highly encourage you to do so. There's a million of them. The Athletic, uh, of course, is great coverage. The LA Times is great coverage. OC Register is covering. Like, there's so much coverage of it. Um, I don't think I need to get into it. And that's honestly just, I don't want to finish my time here at Locked on Angels like that. Um, so I want to to do some positive spins on everything. Um, So here, of course, I want to say my goodbyes and my thank yous and all that kind of stuff. But later on in the show, I want to tell you some things I'm looking forward to in 2022. Okay, no, granted that we have one. And I know, I know. But let's be positive here today. I want to go out on a high note. And then um, at the end of the show, I'm going to tell you my favorite things about being an Angels fan. Um, So just some final thoughts here. Um, When we started the show... Uh, well, when I started the show, as I say, back in September, my main goal from the beginning and what I always told you from day one was creating the culture and and building the community. And I feel like we have done a great job doing that. And that is mostly because of you guys. You know, I, I put these episodes out. I've put out nearly 100 of them at this point, uh, which is wild to think that how fast that went. Um, but, you know, I put out these episodes and you guys run wild with it. You guys were the ones that commented and, and responded and tweeted and quote tweeted and retweeted and all that stuff. Like you were honestly the driver of the show. And I'm, I'm so proud of how far we've come and how much we've done and how we've been able to cover the lockout, how we've been able to cover Shohei's MVP and all his awards and and the Noah Syndergaard signing and the Rice Hill situation. Like I'm very, very happy with how much we went through together in such a short amount of time. And, you know, there are many more baseball games to be played. There are many more things to be talked about. There's tons of news coverage to be to be done. And and Daniel Garcia, the new host of the show, who's who's going to start here in a few days, um, he's he's going to do a great job with that. And you guys are in good hands. The Locked On Podcast Network is awesome, and I've been very blessed to be able to have this position, even though it has been a little bit shorter than I anticipated. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to go into it, but of course, you can go check out that other episode where I said I was leaving the show and and the reasons behind that. Uh, I'll have more information on my Twitter in the coming days. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just I'm just super happy, guys. Um, and, and I know it's really hard to to be happy, especially right now, uh, especially with the state of baseball and just the state of the world. Um, it's hard to find happiness. And that's why I'm trying to take this opportunity to step back and and be happy um, and and feel good. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of uh, cliche and lame and boring or whatever, but, you know, it, it is important. Um, you know, we only have so much time on this earth and and if you can find happiness when you can, you know, that that's what you should do. And and that's what I'm choosing to do. And I hope you're choosing to do it with me, you know, doing the whole, you know, don't be sad that it's gone, but be, you know, be happy that it happened. That's how I'm taking my approach to my time with Locked on Angels. Um, I'm not going to say that everything was hunky dory and, and sunshine and daisies and everything. Of course, that's not the case. Um, but I, I'm going to choose to look at the happiness. I'm going to choose to look at the good times that we have all had. And, and I hope that, this show has provided you one information. I mean, that's kind of the basis of it, right? Good information, but two, just from a different angle. That's always been my goal from the beginning was to give you a different angle and to give you a different idea and to give you a different spin and and try to be your voice, listen to you, genuinely listen to you and and tell you when you're wrong and tell you when you're right. You know, that that's always been my goal. And, And I hope I was able to provide that. I was hope, I hope I was able to do that for you. Uh, I hope that, this show provided information in a entertaining, fun, um, and interesting way. Um, again, I'm not done. 
I'm not done with my baseball life. Uh, there's still plenty more left in the tank here, um, and I'm very happy about the next steps of my life. But I just wanted to take this first segment to really thank you for watching, for listening, subscribing, retweeting, following, telling your friends, and all that kind of stuff. And, and again, don't be worried. The, the show isn't going anywhere. It's just not going to be me anymore. And, and Daniel Garcia is going to have a different spin on it, and good for him. I don't know what that spin is, but I'm giving him... Giving him the reins, and uh, he is free to do whatever he wants with the show, and that's the beauty of this show. You know, again, I, it was Taylor before, then it was Brent, and then it was me. You know, and you know there was a couple of hosts before that, but that's that's where I feel the show has gone and grown, and and each of us have had different takes on how to cover this team. This was mine, and I hope it was entertaining to you, and I hope that you find value out of it because I, I honestly worked very hard on it, and uh, I'm very proud of it, but I'm. Mostly proud of, of the fans and how they've taken to it and how nice they have been. So we can be negative all day long, but uh, in the end, it's baseball. And, um, you know, it, we're in it because we love it. And, and that's why I did the show. This episode is brought to you by Built Bar. This is the time of year I've pretty much given up on all my New Year's resolutions, but not this year. I'm actually sticking to them thanks to Built Bar, and you got to check out those Built Bar Puffs. If you haven't, you're missing out on one of the best tasting bars they've ever made. Puffs are the first ever protein-infused marshmallow. They're fluffy, marshmallow and they're not just a protein. They're an actual treat, and they're covered in 100% real chocolate. Puffs are already a fan favorite with some incredible flavors. You go check them all out. They're going to be your new favorites, I promise. They're low calorie and they're high protein. Replace your candy bars with the Built Bar Puffs. They are better, I promise. A typical candy bar can be anywhere from two to 300 calories. That ain't the case with Built Bars. Go to Built Bar. Oh, go to Built.com and scroll down to the macros chart. You'll be blown away with those numbers. They're all about the taste. They make it delicious first, delicious first, and then figure out how to make it healthy. Go to Built.com, use promo code LOCK15 and get 15% off your order. It's that simple. Use promo code LOCK15 for 15% off at built.com. Back here on Locked On Angels, your first listen of the day, Steve Granato with you. Okay, um, let's take this time to kind of preview the 2022 season, whatever that entails, whatever it's going to be. Um, these are the things that I'm looking forward to most. If we end, th- this is all the scope that we get a full season, right? <laughs> let's let's just start with that. Um, we're living in a in a fantasy world at this point, so let's just go ahead and do that. Th- here's some of the things that I'm looking forward to. You've heard me talk about a couple of these, um, but I wanted to lay them out one last time here for you to look out for in 2022. If we have a full season, the number one thing I want is, I mean, obviously playoffs and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, from an individual player standpoint, it's just Trout and Otani 50-50. I want 50 home runs from both of them. I think that would be maybe the coolest thing to ever happen in sports. Um, and what's crazy to say is it's like not even that far off of being actually possible. Um, so Trout, Otani, 50-50 in 2022 would be probably the biggest thing that I could ever dream for aside from a World Series championship. So that's the number one thing I want. Obviously, we're going to be excited to see them in the lineup again together. But regardless, 50 and 50, let's go. That's that is the absolute goal. Another thing I'm looking forward to here is just David Fletcher. I, I'm really hopeful for David Fletcher's future. I'm really hopeful that he can return to some of his old form. Um, you know, the the contact rate was still up, which is great. So it's just a matter of those balls falling in the outfield, getting through the infield, things like that. I'm very excited to see David Fletcher really return offensively and stay strong defensively. Um, you know, we've we've talked about David Fletcher in the past, and and I know he's a fan favorite, and he's a fan favorite of mine. You know, I'm a big fan of David Fletcher course being a local kid um so i'm very excited to see what david fletcher brings to the table in 2022 i really hope that he's able to um, get that bat back in order cut down on the strikeouts um keep the contact duck and just get that on base percentage and that batting average back up to where it's supposed to be and where he knows it can be very excited to see david fletcher and how much progress he has made during the offseason um one fun thing i'm keeping my eye on and this is of course without any trades or anything like that i just really want to see the friendship of joe adele and brandon marsh uh, i i love these guys um they I think they're so fun to watch and their futures are so exciting and they got such zest for the game and so much flair for the sport. I'm really excited to watch them play together in a full capacity in a full season. Uh, we've heard about it for years now at this point that these guys have been tearing it up in the minors. We've seen a little bit in the majors. I just want to see them blossom. I want Adele and Marsh to be the new dynamic duo in baseball. Um, I want them to take baseball by storm in 2022. And you know, the fact that they're best friends just makes it that much cooler. Um, so I want to watch that friendship 
uh, grow and uh, mature and just see them both just absolutely crushed at the major league level. I'm just 100% rooting for Joe Adele and Brandon Marsh, even if they're not playing for the Angels. Um, I fully anticipate that they will be, but um, if they're not, you know, I still love those guys and and I'm sure Angels fans throughout throughout the country uh, feel that same way. And then the last thing I'm really looking forward to this season is watching Noah Syndergaard pitch in an Angels uniform. Noah Syndergaard is a guy that I've admired from afar for so long and for him to be on the Angels in whatever capacity it is, if he ends up getting hurt or whatever or Tommy John recovery hasn't gone the way it wants or he doesn't resurge. No, I'm just excited to watch Noah Syndergaard pitch in an Angels uniform at Angel Stadium. That is just such a cool idea in my head. And it's something that I could only have ever dreamed of. Um, And obviously, I want him to do well. I want him to pitch well. I want him to return to form, return to that Cy Young potential form. Um, Very stoked to see him. And I know that a lot of Angels fans are excited, cautiously optimistic, you know, given the injury history. But just think in a world where Noah Syndergaard really returns to true form, how much fun that would be with Syndergaard. And Otani, your one-two punch, maybe Patrick Sandoval taking off this year. Like There are a lot of cool upsides right now for the Angels, which makes me very excited for the future. Again, we talk about it, how so much negativity has infiltrated the fan base. And, um, you know, it's, it's a bummer that that's the case. But I am choosing, and I think you should too, choose to be happy and choose to be excited because... You know, <laughs> it's really all you got in this world. Um, you know, if you're always looking at it from a negative scope, then you're always going to feel negative. So if you have any control over anything, it's the way you feel about something and the way you anticipate something. So again, that's why I'm choosing happiness. And that's why I'm choosing to be excited about the Angels' future. Football might be over for this season, but basketball is in full steam for both pro and college hoops. From the latest odds, totals, player performance, props to where the next coach, fired coach, is going to land, betonline.net is the number one spot for all your sport betting needs. BetOnline remains the best spot for all your sports scores, podcasts, and news this season. And it's not just basketball. BetOnline.net is your source for hockey, boxing, UFC odds right to the Olympic coverage and information. Head to the website today and or you can use your mobile device to learn more about the trends and action. Bet online where the game starts. Back here on Locked On Angels, your first listen of the day, your last episode of the week, my last episode. Um, and I want to take this time here to tell you my favorite things about being an Angels fan. So the last uh, the last hurrah here, if you will. Um, just some of the things that I love. And, and again, we're just trying to be appreciative today and, and be happy today. So um, my favorite things about being an Angels fan. I've been an Angels fan since I was just out of diapers. So I've kind of told the story before, but when I was a baby, baby. My dad used to take me to Dodgers games um, and then got fed up with driving there and trying to get out of the ballpark. So we started going to Angels games. And that's when I became an Angels fan was somewhere around 96 or so. Um, 96, 97, I started playing little league ball, um, and started liking the angels and started following the angels. And, you know, some of the first guys I watched were Tim Salmon and Garrett Anderson. And, you know, I remember the Sean Figgins years and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Those were the, those were my angels, um, way back when. So that's, that's when it all started for me. And, and that's when it started, started going to the ballpark. And that's when I fell in love with the ballpark. You know, there's a lot of information or a lot of like talk that surrounds the ballpark. Right. And we've talked about how we want, them to improve the stadium experience. And I stand by those things. But overall, I do love the ballpark. I do love Angel Stadium. Um, it reminds me of being a kid. You know, you're walking uh, up the tunnel, you get to your seats, you grab a dog, and and you're hanging out with your dad, and you see the rock pile, and 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 you just know it's Angels baseball. Um, and while sometimes it may feel identityless, and sometimes it may feel like we're still trying to find our way as an organization, It's still our organization, and I love it for that, and I love it for Angels fans, and I love it for, you know, being the home of Vlad Guerrero, being the home of Tim Salmon, being the home of Rod Carew, things like that. Like, that's what makes me excited, and that's what makes me feel pride for being an Angels fan, and and the stadium does that. While, again, I want more upgrades to it, and I want it to be better, it comes from a genuine place of love, um, and that's where I always try to come from. Um, The fun times that I've always had at Angel Stadium are always, you know, know, obviously the games dictated a lot of times, but many times when I just think over the years about 
going to Angel Stadium, I think about going with my family and I think about going with my friends, you know, going in high school and going in college and just, you know, hey, you want to get some cheap seats? Let's go to the ballpark. And, and we do that and we have a good time. doesn't matter win or lose. It doesn't really matter. You, you forget those games, um, but you remember how much fun you had and, and, and grabbing a drink with your friends and stuff like that and hanging out at the rock pile and watching Shohei swing it. Like those are the things that matter. Those are the things that when, you know, when, when it comes down to it, those are the things that you actually care about. Um, the other thing I love about being an Angels fan is just being a part of this show, man. It, it, it's really cool to, you know, I, I always tell my friends and my family whenever I talk, tell them what I do, right? If I were eight-year-old Steve or 10-year-old Steve and I had to go back and tell them, like, oh, by the way, you're going to live in the city that you've always wanted to live in and you are going to host a show about the team that you love, you know, that would be the most, and you're going to get paid for it. You know, the, the, the kid in me is just like, dude, that's insane. Like you live in a stone's throw away from angel stadium and you get to cover the team full time. That's incredible. That's an incredible thing to say. Um, so this show has been such a cool thing for me to have and for me to work on. Um, and that's why I don't regret a single second of it. I, I, I genuinely love everything we've been able to do. Um, with this show. And, and the last thing that I love about being an Angels fan, it kind of does go back to my childhood days. Um, you know, it's not always celebrated. It's not always promoted the way it should. I feel like it's starting to get a little bit better, better about that. But the history of the Mike Sosha era is just amazing. It's just absolutely perfect. <laughs> you know, like the Mike Sosha era, um, he's going to go down as one of the greatest managers in baseball history. And without a doubt, he's the greatest manager in Angels history. I had planned on doing a full episode about him at one point. Um, there's a lot of episodes that unfortunately never panned out. But um, yeah, just the Mike Sosha era uh, really defined me as a baseball fan. I feel like that whole era was so crucial in me growing up and so crucial in making me a baseball fan and making me an Angels fan for life, for life. I am, you know, for how much we criticize rightfully uh, Major League Baseball and the Angels on this show. At the end of the day, man, I'm an Angels fan through and through. It's in my blood at this point. Um, and you're never going to take that away from me. And And I feel like a lot of Angels fans, while we may not be the loudest and craziest fan base in all of baseball, we still are strong. We still are a strong fan base. And those those roots are there and they're just going to continue to grow. And uh, and that's how I feel about all of it. So I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to end this. I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I'm sure you can feel that. But again, just look forward to everything that is going to happen in 2022 regardless. If we get one game, if we get 162 games, whatever it is, just be grateful that we get it. Be happy and and try to live your life in that regard because it's too short, man. It's too short to to be sad and 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 upset and um mad all the time. Um yes, you know, let your emotions run wild, but Keep them in scope. That that's that's how I'm trying to live my life, especially post locked on angels. Um, you can always follow me on Twitter at Steve Granado. You can follow me on TikTok as well at Steve Granado, um, and then our YouTube, my YouTube channel is also down below. I will be starting uh, doing some uh, short form and some long form content on those channels. So make sure to check those out. They're all in the episode description. That voicemail line is still going to stay active. I'm transferring it to Daniel Garcia seven one four four zero nine six three nine six. And of course, you can follow at Locked On Angels. I want to thank you for making. Locked on Angels, your first listen of the day. For your second listen, check out Locked on Bets, your daily one-stop shop for all your gambling needs. Locked on Bets, hosted by your boy Q with expert analysis and insight from Lee Sterling. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us in today's episode of Locked on Angels. Thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart for everybody who has ever engaged with the show. And even if you didn't, if you just sat there quietly and watched at home, hit that like button, you hit that subscribe button, you did whatever you had to do, and you just welcomed me into your home and a part of your day. That's that's enough for me. Thanks so much. Enjoy the season whenever it starts. Enjoy Angels baseball. Enjoy life. I'm Steve Granato. Later. Later.